Ladies and gentlemen, in this particular episode, I'm going to discuss about pre-diabetes. What is pre-diabetes? It is a stage between normal blood glucose levels and type 2 diabetes. So if the levels are higher than that of normal range, but not high enough to be in the type 2 diabetes range, we call it as pre-diabetes. As the name indicates, the stage before diabetes is called pre-diabetes. So what exactly are the blood glucose levels to call as pre-diabetes fasting plasma glucose between 100 to 125 milligrams per deciliter postprandial blood glucose levels that means after food blood glucose levels between 140 to 199 milligrams per deciliter and a hpa1c or glycated hemoglobin value between 5.7 to 6.4 percent can be called as pre-diabetes what are the symptoms of pre-diabetes there are no symptoms whatsoever who are at higher risk of developing pre-diabetes? We all Southeast Asians are at increased risk of developing pre-diabetes than uh, Caucasians. And as we age, we have a higher tendency to develop uh, pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes as well. Do remember that if we have a family history of diabetes, we are at higher risk of developing diabetes as well and pre-diabetes. If we look at modifiable risk factors, smoking, is one of the risk factors for developing pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Lack of exercise, i.e. sedentary lifestyle, not eating right can also lead to pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes. If you look at other risk factors, they are having a past medical history of uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome, having a past medical history of gestational diabetes can also predispose us to developing pre-diabetes. So why are we so much worried about pre-diabetes? Because if pre-diabetes is neglected, then that can lead to type 2 diabetes soon. And pre-diabetes in itself can predispose us to increased risk of heart problems as well compared to normal blood glucose levels. And how can we avoid developing pre-diabetes and progression of pre-diabetes to type 2 diabetes? So we need to tackle the modifiable risk factors, i.e. stop smoking if we are smokers exercise regularly and eat right. If we have a past medical history of gestational diabetes or polycystic ovarian syndrome, we need to take extra care in order to not develop pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes by leading a very healthy lifestyle. Are there any medications that can help prevent developing type 2 diabetes if you already have pre-diabetes? Yes, you can discuss with your doctor and consider starting metformin tablets if your doctor advises you to. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are able to understand what pre-diabetes is and that you would take care. Take care.